We're making our way through the six seismic shifts of the spiritual life. You don't necessarily experience them in this order. I think everyone experiences them at different times in their journey, but you don't necessarily experience them in this order, and you don't necessarily only experience them once. I don't know about you, but I'm a bit of a slow learner. Some of these lessons I've had to be taught over and over again. But the third seismic shift is giving yourself to prayer. Giving yourself to prayer. What happens in the third seismic shift is is that prayer moves from something that we do and it becomes something that we experience. Moves from something that we do and it becomes something that we experience. We stop doing prayer and we give ourselves to prayer. We give ourselves to prayer. And it's, it's a profound shift, you know, to come to our time of prayer and to give ourselves to God and say, God, here I am. Do with me whatever you want to do with me. Take what you want to take, give what you want to give. I give myself to you for this time. Work in me. And, and he does, and he will whether we're aware of it or not. And very often at the time when God is working most powerfully in us, we are not aware of it. But later we will look back and realize, hmm, that was going on and I thought this was happening, when in reality something completely different and marvelous was happening. In my book, The Seven Levels of Intimacy, I coined the term carefree timelessness. I wrote the book at the end of my first decade on the road. Um, and during that time, I had visited hundreds, maybe thousands of high schools. Uh, in almost every city I visited, I would go to a high school and I would speak in the high school in the afternoon and then do my you know, general public event in the evening. And spending all that time with these young people taught me many things, a lot of you know, very profound lessons from all of that. But one of the, the, the key learnings or the observations that I came out of that was this idea of carefree timelessness. What is carefree timelessness? It's, it's time together without an agenda. Very often couples will say, oh yeah, let's, um, let's get together on you know, Saturday afternoon, spend some time together on Saturday afternoon. You know, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do that other thing. This is not carefree timelessness. It's good to have time together, but sometimes it's good to have time together without an agenda. To say, okay, let's spend Saturday afternoon together. What are we going to do? Well, we don't know. Let's decide on Saturday afternoon. Let's just see where it takes us. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's have some time together without an agenda. This is the reason young people fall in love so easily. Carefree timelessness. It is singularly the reason young people fall in love so easily. Because when we get to know each other, we love each other. The more you get to know a person, the more you love that person. They have this carefree timelessness. They talk for hours on the phone. They hang out for hours. They have this carefree timelessness. And this carefree timelessness is an essential ingredient of love. It causes us to fall in love with ourselves, with life, with each other. And very often we do fall out of love with life. Very often we do fall out of love with life because our lives have become too busy, too noisy, too stressful. Sometimes we need some carefree timelessness with ourselves. Sometimes we need some carefree timelessness with the most important people in our lives. And sometimes we need some carefree timelessness with God. The third seismic shift, it's about carefree timelessness with God. It's about giving ourselves to God, giving ourselves to God, just letting God do what he wants to do with us, be with us however he wants to be with us in that time for those moments of prayer on any given day. And when we do that, when we surrender in that way, he begins to work very, very powerfully within us. Again, what we see here is there's a very powerful connection between prayer 
and life and love. Prayer teaches us how to live. Prayer teaches us how to love. Carefree timelessness is an essential life skill. Learning to give ourselves and just be in certain situations is an essential life skill. Where do we learn it? We learn it in prayer. Who do we learn it from? We learn it from God. How do we learn it? We learn it by giving ourselves to prayer. 